All right, guys, we got another Goodman leaker today. Looks like it's gonna be the same spot, this top coil, but we shall check it out. Uh, guys, I've already filled this up a couple of times and it's leaking out pretty much down to zero within a day. <sighs> if you've done enough AC work, you'll learn this sooner or later, but always bring wasp spray with you. I did see a wasp flying around inside this condensing unit. I've already got the power pulled over there. Let's find this leak and repair it. This is about where I suspect the leak to be. It's usually right here, but we are going to verify that because we need to repair this. It's kind of hard to pinpoint this with soap bubbles but I know it's there. I can see the bubbles coming out. See that? I don't know if it's gonna be this top one or the one right below it. Let's find out though. Just trying to pull these fins back. You can really see the bubbles coming out right now. It's the same spot on all of these good men condensers. You could see that probably during shipping that this was damaged. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna rip this whole piece out and replace it though. Got an old unit right here. This piece of do. All right, so I got my piece almost sized up that I'm gonna use. I've got nitrogen going through the... gonna pressure test this up to about 250 so I want to make sure that we got this I don't feel anything When you're doing these repairs, I forgot to mention the brazing rods that you use are very important. I use the 15% silver for repairs. For every other day use, 5% works just fine. 
we're at 225 that's close enough I'm gonna set up the vacuum pump and make sure that this holds and make sure that I don't see any bubbles starting to form here's our vacuum setup got this bad boy on a vacuum could not get the valve core out of this because the valve core tool would not fit but I got the valve core out of this we've got our line from the gauges going in so we can break vacuum and that's all fine and dandy it's gonna let this run for about 30 minutes to an hour till it gets nice and low not gonna go too crazy though because this is just a temporary repair okay I like to replace the coils or replace the whole unit I don't know how long this repair is gonna last it may last a week two weeks may last many years but we got to get more of these in stock and when we do and when this leaks again if it leaks again it will then be replaced when we have the correct parts in stock repairing a coil is just to get you by an emergency just to get the people cooling that's all it is if you enjoyed this video go ahead hit that like button but until the next fix my name's dave see y'all in the next one